patient should be fully reclined in a supine position with the head comfortably in the headrest. Patients must be wearing eye protection at all times. During local anesthesia administration to any child or adolescent, a dental assistant should always be chair-side to provide support to the provider. The patient is instructed to place their hands under their bottom. A mouth prop is inserted carefully on the opposite side to where you will be injecting. After drying gently with gauze, topical anesthesia is applied to the soft tissues where you will insert the needle. Be careful not to allow the patient to get too much of the taste as it can be quite bitter or sour tasting. Notice how the operator maintains head stabilization throughout all procedures by ensuring the patient's head remains between the operator's non-dominant arm and their body. The syringe is passed by the dental assistant to the operator behind the patient's head, out of sight of the patient. This can be also done over the patient's chest with their head and neck extended to keep the syringe out of view. The operator maintains communication with the patient at all times for distraction and to allay any anxiety. Silence to a child can signal that something is wrong, so continue to talk or sing to young patients throughout the administration of local anesthesia. Inferior alveolar nerve block. Once you have good head stabilization, ask the patient to raise their chin. Tissues are retracted and the syringe is carried to the mouth out of the patient's line of sight. It is often a good idea to manipulate the cheek while injecting. This helps distract from the feeling of the injection. You may have to remind the patient to keep their hands down and under their bottom. Your assistant should be instructed to place a supportive arm over the patient in case the patient were to raise their arm suddenly. Sudden patient movement without proper patient stabilization can be unsafe for both patient and operator. For infiltration, the patient's head is stabilized against the operator's body and the maxilla is held firmly in position by the operator. The opposite end of a Q-tip can be used to apply pressure before a palatal or greater palatine injection to desensitize the area. Some patients become very upset at the numb feeling caused by local anesthesia. You can reassure them that the feeling is temporary and can use a mirror to show them that their facial appearance is unchanged. For the extraction, the mouth prop is reinserted. A loose gauze is placed on the tongue as a pharyngeal guard in case the tooth is dislodged into the oral cavity during the extraction. A periosteal elevator is used to release the periodontal ligament around the tooth to be extracted. Notice the patient becomes upset and wants to communicate. It's always a good idea to give the patient a sense of control by asking them to raise a leg or hand if they need a break, have something to say, or need to ask a question. The patient should be monitored during and after the appointment to ensure they do not bite, pinch, or scratch the anesthetized soft tissues, causing trauma.